Hello everyone. Today Raya and I, we're going out for a little bit. We're gonna ride to Cave Junction, Oregon, which is halfway between Grants Pass and Crescent City. It's like right near the California border. There's a stop off the side of the road called Rough and Ready Botanical Wayside or something like that. I've always thought about stopping there, but never do because we only ever just ride through there like on our way to the coast or the redwoods or something. But today we're gonna go and check that out. We're here at the Rough and Ready Botanical Wayside. This is kind of a dry, like weird, really unique area. It's just a stop off the side of the road. I honestly don't know what's here. This sign says area of critical environmental concern. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know how long this trail is or anything. Oh yeah, flowers. I'm gonna sniff it. The skies are blue, blue, blue. Not a cloud in sight. <laughs> you see the blue skies? So we've been really busy this past month. Ever since Josh lost his job, he's been really busy studying for his certifications. And also he's still actively job hunting. And I have been really busy trying to get my jewelry business started up. I've just been making jewelry like crazy. And I've actually sent off a couple applications for some festivals, which will be coming up if I end up doing it in just like a few short months. So I'm kind of nervous about that. And I'm just like trying to make as much stuff as possible because yeah I don't have like a huge stock of jewelry because I like just started and I don't have like a display thought up or anything I'm just I just got to take a minute and show you how pretty this place is it's just wilderness out there but not really that many trees and stuff well I guess in the distance but it's just a really weird terrain and then this trail right in the middle of it all on top of the whole jo um, job thing with Josh like when he gets a new job I don't know how that's going to affect all the travels that I had planned for the summer because I've actually already paid for a lot of our trips and like week-long vacations during summer. We had pretty much the whole summer was planned out that we were going to do stuff starting at the end of this month. And I just don't know how it's going to work out now. Um, unless we end up having to travel without Josh, which we could do. He said it was okay if we do that. Which is kind of a bummer because, you know, I like traveling with our whole family. I see the river up here and there's a picnic table. Oh, cool. Oh. The trees are all coming out of the rocks and stuff. It's water. Do you want to go down there? Yeah. This would be such a cute spot to, like, come and splash around on a hot day. Like today, honestly, but we didn't bring swimsuits. I didn't know we were going to find this at all. How does the water feel? Is it cold? Yeah. I had to lose my long sleeve shirt because um, it's got a lot of little holes in it and I don't want a really weird like um, net tan, a netting tan. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll get some sun on my arms right now. Ah! <laughs> Raya is so content just playing with the water. wonder if I could find any like cool rocks to make a pendant with. Whoa! That looks like a Bigfoot claw mark. Check out this bright green moss. I'm gonna take some of it and I'm gonna put it inside like resin rings and make like real life moss rings from moss collected here in Oregon. Moss rings, moss rings. Now I just gotta get some resin and figure out how to make them. <laughs> What's wrong, Raya? You don't wanna leave? No. You like this spot? Yeah. You wanted to bring a picnic for this table? Yeah. But we didn't bring any food with us. We'll have to come back again sometime and sit at this table. And we'll bring food with us next time, okay? And we'll bring Blaine and Merrick with us and we can bring swimsuits and play in the water. Does that sound fun? <gasps> yeah! <laughs> okay, but for now we have to go home. Oh. Raya finally decided to join me. <laughs> Dragging her feet, literally. It looks like there's also a trail right there but I have no idea where it could lead. It doesn't look like anything is over there. I got a passenger on my back. Apparently I'm a horsey. Nay! <laughs> is that fun? My pants are falling down though and I've got a camera. We made it back to the car and I think right now the first thing on our agenda is finding some ice cold drinks. So we're gonna head back into Cave Junction which is like five miles down the street. We found a gas station to get drinks at. We're right like in the heart of Cave Junction. So yeah, there's that way and then all the way around. 
So it has been a while since I last filmed. Obviously, the sun is like <laughs> down outside. Um, but we just found out that today is Beyond Day. And Beyond is a brand of like imitation meat. And they have new products at all these restaurants that they're celebrating. They have a Beyond Burger at Carl's Jr., which we actually tried before. And it is so realistic that I actually thought that they gave us the wrong burger. Like they gave us meat. But anyways, they're giving them out for free today. You have to buy a medium drink with it and then you get the free burger. So we're going to go see if this is legit. It's going to be um, me and Josh and Blaine because Merrick has a friend over staying the night and rise in bed. So they're going to stay here while we go out and get free burgers. Is everyone ready for their free burgers? If the Happy party. birthday, Beyond. <laughs> yeah, that's what we have to say at the register to get it. Blaine's scared. I feel a little nervous too. It's awkward to go ask for like a free burger. I mean, we're going to pay a lot of money for our drink. <laughs> I like how you say a lot of money. <laughs> $2. We're gonna pay a lot of money for our drinks. Also, we're coming out. It's like 9 o'clock. We should have gone out for dinner. <laughs> we all had burgers for dinner, literally. <laughs> Look, these are not the same kind of burgers. Okay, and yeah. we're also true. getting sodas. This is our... Make, we came out for sodas. Yeah, and we're getting a burger snack. Sure. Look, they've even got like the advertisements right there. Like that is a veggie burger. Look how big these burgers are. Like that's a hefty burger. It worked. We each, one of us, had to say happy birthday, Beyond. Yeah, uh -oh. then her boss happy. is even like, did they all say it? <laughs> she was. So we actually got one, two, three, four free burgers. Josh cannot eat tomatoes, and he said no tomatoes, no ketchup on his burger, and they accidentally put ketchup on it, so I had to go back in, which is kind of awkward to like have them remake a free burger, but they didn't seem to have a problem with it. But check out this burger. Like, that... There's no meat on that. That is a veggie burger and it tastes like meat. Like take a bite of that. This is the inside of the burger. So it's actually like, it has like pinkness to it. It looks so real. It's so crazy. Check that out. It's really cool because more and more restaurants are like going vegetarian and vegan and stuff. And you can actually get the Beyond Burger at Carl's Jr. on any burger. You can replace the meat patty with the non-meat patty. So it's really neat. I love it. But anyways. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. See ya.